Today we will discuss about role of post translation modification in tumor progression. How the disruption in the post translation modification in the tumor cells helps the tumor uh, towards metastasis. So in this case uh, we will discuss uh, or our focus will be on uh, glycocalyx. So in the tumor cells the different kind of glycan structures are produced because of the reprogramming that has occurred within the tumor cells. And this different glycone, different types of uh, glycan structure that are expressed on the uh, cell surface are being categorized into uh, four different categories. First one is this uh, glycoproteins, that is an, uh, ab aberrant and glycan structures that are formed on the asparagine side or serine uh, asparagine sides of the uh, protein, or we can say that at the asparagine amino acid of the uh, glycoproteins and o glycans are expressed on the serine or theurine amino acid of the glycoproteins whereas glycolipids are uh, formed on the lipids that are expressed on the cell surface and this proteoglycans has uh, this long carbohydrate chain structures at serine and theurine sites and whereas the mucins contains uh, several different o glycan structures at the serine theurine sites so these are the four different categories uh, which are been over expressed or dysregulated during the tumor progressions and some of these dysregulations are shown in this uh, figure on the uh, top right corner we can see that uh, which kind of glycan structures are over expressed in which kind of uh, diseases. Uh, for example, this uh, silyl level X uh, structures are overexpressed in colon, pancreatic cancer, and leukemia kind of disease, whereas silyl TN antigens are overexpressed on breast, ovarian, colorectal, prostate, gastric, and also in the pancreatic cancers. And similarly, the other uh, overexpressed glycan structures are uh, shown and their respective uh, diseases. This can be used as a uh, first stage identification whether the person has uh, a particular kind of cancers or not or if a person a uh, uh, person contains the particular kind of glycan structures then uh, they can be uh, they can undergo detailed uh, diagnosis to confirm and verify whether they have uh, a associated cancer associated disease or not so how these glycan structures uh, usually uh, how this glycocalyx not the glycan structure how this glycocalyx layer helps in this tumor progression is that in brief this glycocalyx layer uh, interact with the ECM because they are uh, over long they have a uh, higher thickness compared uh, glycocalyx has a higher thickness compared to the normal glyco glycocalyx in the tumor has a higher thickness compared to the normal glycocalyx and because of this what it will does is it will uh, interact with the ECM uh, easily and uh, because of that there is a mechanical uh, force that are transduced within the cells and that will cause this mechanical signaling or mechanical uh, signaling that will cause the intercellular signaling activations and two of the major intercellular signaling activations are the genes that are responsible for the transitions of the cells such as this mesomical genes and also it will uh, accelerate this bulky glycocalyx genes or genes that helps in this um, more bulkier glycocalyx for layer formation such as CD44, hyaluron, galactin 1 and in terms of this mesomical genes the tenacin C will be upregulated that is the easy that will helps the cells towards migrate towards migration and how these things can be inhibited there are four different approaches that i have already covered in one of our previous videos you can go through that videos to understand these things in detail so uh, we can use this small molecule inhibitor uh, what it will does is it will uh, disrupt the glycocalyx thickness it will disrupt the uh, long uh, bulkier glycocalyx uh, thickness so that the integrins can be interacted uh, with the uh, with the Interest can be interacted uh, with the immune systems 
or the non self epitope can in, can easily interact with the immune cells next one is this metabolic reprogramming with activated donor so that uh, this uh, kind of donors enters the tumor cells and they will uh, disrupts the uh, glycotransferase that are, uh, that are responsible for this glycosylation so because of that the glycocalyx layer form bulky glycocalyx uh, formations will be disrupted and the thickness of this glycocalyx will uh, come down next one is this use of synthetic co glycocopolymer the function of this synthetic glycocopolymer is that it will reduce the uh, high glycan structure or carbohydrate structures around the integrins so that for example this short glyco uh, copolymers it will bind close to the uh, integrins and disrupt or prevent the high glycocalyx uh, bulkier uh, carbohydrate structures formations near the integrins so that integrins are free to interact with the other immune systems other immune cells compared to the long glyco copolymer which will prevent the integrins interactions with this immune systems next one is this crispr cas9 based purine so in this case we can uh, target uh, to knock out uh, some of the uh, genes that are responsible for this post translation modification such as this mgat1 can be introduced so the silic acids formation will be reduced and the uh, cosmcs also uh, helps in reduction in the silic acid formation and ugcg helps in reduction helps in the uh, decrease of this galactose structures formations so in this way the glycocalyx bulkier thickness will be reduced and the cells can be able to interact with cells can interact cells can interact with the immune system and immune system can perform its uh, functions of triggering uh, apoptosis or cell uh, cell cytotoxicity uh, and other by other ways to kill those tumor cells so i hope you got just a basic idea how the glycocalyx plays an important role in tumor progression if you need to understand more about the post translation post translation modification roles toward tumor progression in detail you can go through the reference that has been provided in the description that's all for this video thank you for your time